Um, another another thing that uh, is actually quite interesting before I move into the material designer is that uh, we have the opportunity to actually to also mix uh, animal ears. So um, again, for creating like uh, you know, like you know, fantasy kind of characters, uh, that's it's very useful. Um, so we can actually have the opportunity to just put a little bit of pig ear or, uh, you know, like kind of uh, that guy in Star Wars. We can actually sort of uh, put a, a dog ear. Um, and just, you know, allow your imagination to just run wild. So let's give him a little bit of pig ear. All right. Uh, so now if I, if I just give it, render it very quickly, uh, you can see that we actually get quite a nice sort of, uh, have an, quite a nice texture there. And if you are uh, quite comfortable with body paint, you can actually sort of uh, go in there and, you know, edit it and uh, play around with it. Uh, but also you can, you, you will see, uh, you get sort of quite a lot of, uh, uh, possibility to do stuff with this uh, within this so uh, okay now if I just move on to the uh, material designer here we have uh, I'm still sort of developing uh, uh, some of some ideas uh, around this tool so when I will release it there will be uh, more features to it um, and it will give you a lot more sort of like um, chance to create different looks. But um, I'll just show you what I have so far. So we have diff different uh, preset. Uh, we have diff different preset um, textures. Uh, so for example, uh, like say this texture. There's some th there's some textures that are basically one horse pony uh, like they say the gorilla that goes with a gorilla uh, morph and there are other textures that are actually more usable um, like this alien texture um, and also we have a, just a plain color texture so if I go back to the mount texture now, we have uh, different kind of skin tones. We have the Northern European skin tone, then we have an African tone, which actually sort of uh, make the, makes it uh, for a darker skin. Uh, then we have an Oriental tone, and an Indian tone, and a Mediterranean tone. And Again, these are the starting points because then we can come in and we can edit. So, say for example, we can actually just uh, adjust the mix here and adjust the color and get different kinds, different kind of skins uh, very, very quickly. Um, so, like, let's say, just for the sake of it. We just take that alien skin and then come and create sort of, I don't know, a greeny kind of face like that, or maybe something like that. Okay, I'm being a little bit sort of like kind of picky here, but that, you know, uh, fair enough. Okay, so now. Or we can we, uh, we can come down to the eyes, and again we have different eye presets. So we have sort of like kind of brown. We have green color eyes. We have yellow, hazel, different colors anyway, and also we have red just for the devil, sort of like kind of a new. <laughs> um, but in addition to that, uh, we can come on edit mode here, 
and then we can edit the color with this uh, with this gradient to change it to whatever color we want. So if I kind of zoom in a little bit, so we can look at his eyes a bit more. Um, and also, by taking sort of this gradient and moving it left or right, we can dilate the pupil so that you actually get a much sort of larger pupil as you see here. In addition to that, we can also change the uh, amount of sort of of white that we that we have in in uh, our eyes. So let's just zoom in a little bit more. So by using this kind of this this uh, this gradients here, you can see that actually we can get this. to get uh, a lot less white in the eyes uh, like, for, like for example uh, you would get with some animals where uh, like you don't really see a lot of, uh, of uh, the white of the eyes Um, so, quite a lot of quite a lot of flexibility, not only in creating kind of skins, but also in creating uh, different looks uh, in in the eyes uh, of a character. Um, thank you for watching this, and um, hope to show you some more stuff uh, regarding the hair design pretty soon.